Let's move on to step five, managing your in-house challenges. Getting your house in order protects you from disputes with employees and shareholders who lack faith in your strategies and policies. This can only happen when your team is adaptable to changes in the industry. The organisational structure of the company must move along with new technology to stay competitive in a disruptive business environment. You can also manage your in-house challenges through an IT system to simplify the storage and extraction of relevant information and financials, an HR team that excels at undertaking succession planning, especially for key company decision makers, complete transparency in your operations as well as your tax-related strategies to encourage employee faith in your company, and by making sure your in-house staff are BEPS compliant. Back to the case of Caterpillar, where shareholders and investors have filed a case against the company and its tax advisors. Responses provided by Caterpillar's tax advisor in front of the US Senate committee assert that its policies were not in fact shifting income artificially, yet these responses were not good enough for investors and shareholders who demand utmost transparency. Some of the risks of mismanaging in-house challenges are low competitiveness, a slow response to the needs of your industry, penalties and fines, a corporate governance that doesn't fit your business model, and an inefficient business structure. So are you successfully managing your in-house challenges? How does the in-house tax team and the CFO communicate? What drives your tax strategy? Do you have clear succession planning? Do you have robust IT systems supporting your operations? Do your employees have faith in your organisation? And is information about your strategies clearly available and understood to all stakeholders? If not, we strongly suggest the following to get your house in order.